Hey, how's it going guys, that I here. So, today I wanted to make my full proper review for the first Descendant. Now that I've achieved getting a Platinum Trophy for this game, I felt that I definitely needed to mention a lot more regarding of this game. Now, I have already made a review for the first Descendant, but I don't feel like I made proper justice to it. Basically, I have left out a few of the things such as that, well, at that point of time, I didn't yet even completely seen the end game, what this game had to offer. But now that I have seen and on top of that, like mentioned, that I have gotten a Platinum Trophy, I have did pretty much everything that this game has to offer on day one of its release. Now I do know there's going to be upcoming releases, DLCs and free content updates and hotfixes, things are going to change. And yet, it's not really possible to do justice in terms of having a full proper review in the live service titles. I really wanted to mention finally my proper full review for the first Descendant after that I have achieved of getting a Platinum Trophy. I want to get into the good, the bad, and all that great stuff, of course. Let's begin with the positive. As an example that you have an availability to play this game as a cross-platform multiplayer, it is definitely a benefit for this game. It means that a lot more players are able to join in together and just go through this adventure and grind and just simply go through what this game has to offer. And that definitely is a positive. But of course, if there's a positive, then unfortunately there's always going to be a negative, especially in terms of this game. Now, even though this game is a free to play, there are some predatory things. I was thinking if I should even mention this at the very right at the beginning of this video. So I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm talking about a little bit in terms of the monetization. I will wait at the near end of this commentary. I will get in all about this topic. Other than that, there is another fault that this game definitely has, and I'm sure every one of you have noticed. I'm talking about its story. It's very, very mediocre. I mean, to the point that's just genuinely bad. It's not like average, it genuinely is bad. And the way that the narrative structure has been, well, presented here is so unmemorable that I just like, what the hell were we even doing? You know, at some point, maybe I was even considering, should I just skip these cutscenes? But for the review, I on purpose did not. I wanted to see what it's got in store. I wanted to see what, uh, in terms of what it got to present and what he has to say. <laughs> well, I can definitely tell you this much, that this story sucks balls. <laughs> but of course, there's a positive in that. I loved the way the cutscenes were, in terms of how they looked. Because this game is a looker. This game is very, very pretty. Now, in terms of the prettiness, we have to talk about and touch on the characters. Because they are all gorgeous, especially the females. There's so many varieties of them. And if you want to, you can grind for the special costumes sort of things, <laughs> cosmetically talking about, of course, as well, that your characters can wear, especially I am talking about Bunny and Ultimate Bunny on top of that. Yeah, it is quite revealing and it is quite, quite appealing. <laughs> but still, I definitely don't see this as a negative. I definitely see this as a positive. This just kind of incentivizes you of going for and grinding or perhaps getting out your wallet and paying for that Ultimate for the bunny costumes and of course there are many other varieties of female characters in here as well if you want you can go completely cool look kind of reminds me of berserker character like guts is an example that you can actually have that's just so old look as a dude it just looks awesome like a titan from destiny 2 as such but yeah i want to say that another positive thing the gameplay the gameplay the elements of the gameplay is very similar to like warframe and yes, of course, like already mentioned, Destiny 2. There's some things have been taken from those, maybe some inspirations, maybe even copying and pasting, I do not know. But I want to say that I had genuinely had fun. I did play Warframe. I played Destiny 2 a lot. In fact, quite a lot of hours I put into those games, maybe 100, maybe more. Well, knowing Destiny 2 is probably a thousand. Still, this game, I want to say that everything that it does good, I think it actually does well what it tries to do. It kind of grips you, it hooks you in terms of its grind. And I think it does well, like I mentioned. Like I'm, uh, this is a looter shooter, so you should expect to level up every time you play and stronger you get, the more you will be able to notice how strong you are, especially when you go back to the beginning of the areas and see how much stronger you become, especially when you're fighting those more beginning challenging void interceptions bosses, especially when you're already on a hard chapter 
and yet you're coming back to a normal and say like maybe you're going up against a dead bride and then you're just going blazing right through, it is very, very satisfying. But of course, even though a lot of elements here are presented in Warframe and Destiny 2, unfortunately I have to say that this game is a little bit at least it feels like more or less of a budget version of Destiny 2 and Warframe. I don't know how to make out of this, like I felt like something isn't present here enough that would justify of me of putting in thousands and thousands of hours. Now again, I feel that might be because this is a free to play game and it's also because this game is just recently been released and of course he did not had yet the longevity that Destiny 2 and Warframe had. So this is why I'm still putting it here in a negative category, but I don't think it's kind of has a reduction in points due to that. So not a positive, I really wanted to mention it here. I like the way that there's a well implemented social features and activities. I already touched on that a little bit regarding of the cross platform multiplayer, but the way you've done it here, it's so seamless, I genuinely enjoyed it. Now I've been playing, this as mentioned, PlayStation 5, and I've been playing with the PC users, I've been playing with PS4 users, Xbox users, it just works. And I really appreciate that. And the activities that you get to do with them, with anybody, and just, just no limit, there's no restrictions on that, at least to some extent. And yet, it just makes it so much more appealing of continuing playing through the game and say maybe you have a Sherpa or somebody can carry you through these bosses or these areas and they help you out. It just makes it unique and appealing and just makes it far, far more fun. Now, of course, even though they're, like I mentioned, somebody can help you, right? But the way <laughs> you can actually see how many faults this game has, such as the optimization issues, my goodness. There are some problems within this game. Not just to mention that the performance are, well, they are still performance issues. For example, one of the areas, I do not remember the name actually, there's just frame rate just drops down to like tens. It was awful. Like occasionally there's no problem, you're going through, there's so many enemies, you kill everybody, and then at the moment a whole thing just dies on you pretty much in terms of the frame rate. It happens. I want to touch on here regarding of the optimization in terms of how much of the optimization you can have for your character. Now I'm not talking about the performance, I'm talking about the skill and variety. This definitely is a positive. Because there's modules you can find, and then you can make them stronger, and basically you can make your character do things that are just way too powerful. You can become very overpowered. So the RPG-esque within this game is really well done, and there's a lot bigger variety than I anticipated initially. Initially, I didn't even try to learn the system, but when I continue on playing, I had no choice but to learn it. Because at that time, I wasn't really getting into the game. But now that I have gone into much more, and I got platinum this as well, I know a lot more about this game. And I actually appreciate it more as well due to that. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a Nexon issue, but th there's a very bad UI within this game. It's quite distracting, in fact. It has so many limitations and so many things are shown on screen. And the way the menu design has been implemented, I think it would have done better, at least to have more shortcuts and stuff, I don't know, but I just felt that it's a little bit aged poorly, and I don't feel that the way that they have implemented it here really works. I don't know, maybe this is just me issue, but nevertheless, I feel that the UI needs to be worked at a little bit more. So, one of the features that this game has implemented, such as a useful grappling hook, and also with the solid fundamentals that this game has, especially with a shooting sense, the combat is fast paced with the mobility, along with the unique of these abilities that you can use, the skills of the descendants, it genuinely makes it very much fun. And I really have appreciated this. And when you combine all these things and features together, you can really see how much of an improvement you will gain while you're continuing playing through the game and taking all the advantage and of course seeing what this game has to offer. I've really appreciated it because this meant that there's constantly some sort of a grind or some sort of a, a fun factor that genuinely made me come back to the game again and again and continuing on through this grind. Okay, so let's get back into the negative. Unfortunately, the mission does design is incredibly limited and it's increasingly dull and included. It's just so repetitive, so mindless, it just was not very well done. Now, 
at first when you think about it what you do at least through the story when while you're continuing through you go into this world this map this area and you have to go to these patrol missions and you unlock them and then it gives you an objective that you will have to do something specific and you keep doing this five times per map and maybe th four times per map of this area at least or maybe four different patrol missions pair the location pair these areas and it just keeps on doing this It's very badly structured this mission design it's very very limited i really do not like this this is like it got very boring very quick now other than that even though i have mentioned regarding how badly the missions designs are i want to mention that the beautiful look of the world it does look quite nice quite gorgeous in fact and on top of that with your characters like already mentioned everyone looks very beautiful in terms of the quality and the graphics even though you have so much to look for in terms of the graphics what is there to look for while everything is so soulless there really is nothing else going on if you're not doing the missions and you're running through the world, you won't find anything to do. It's very boring. But nevertheless, it is a looker. You can really find the fun within this game. And when you do so, you can get hooked. I kinda did, to some extent. But I don't believe it hooked me completely that I would come back every day or every other week and continue grinding through this game. Because I felt that already. As soon as I platinumed this game, I felt it. I'm done. That's just genuine feeling I, I felt for this game. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but I feel that I have achieved what I've achieved, and I feel the full sense of completion. Nevertheless, maybe I can all come back to this game in the future, but at the moment, I'm not too sure. So, let's get into the most negative thing of this game. Even though this is free to play, like I already mentioned, made by Nexon Games. Unfortunately, with their reputation, how much they have lied to their users, to their consumers, especially that this game's monetization, the way it's done, it is egregious, unfortunately, I have to mention it. It's soul-crushing nature of its grind, it's all in the services of the game's monetization. Every aspect is predatory and designed to get you to spend the money. Now, fortunately for me, I managed to not spend a dime on this game, and I kind of feel that I made the right decision. Now, if you ask me a question, would you have done it now, knowing that you platinum this game and you're pretty much done with it? I kind of feel that I would have, maybe, to an extent, cut down on the grind, because there's things that you can, well, you'll have to do for you to get the platinum trophies, because there's some specific trophies that you'll have to play through. Just for one specific trophy, you'll have to play this game for like 20 hours of grinding, it's insane. Yeah, if I would have paid a little bit of money, perhaps, they, not perhaps, I would have cut down on the, on the amount of time that I had to do so much grinding for. Still, I want to say that the game, how it monetizes, is very, very egregious, unfortunately. I don't feel that I can even give this game a pass because it is free to play, so it's okay to have these predatory monetizations because the way they do it is extremely predatory. So, even though you can pretty much get everything within this game over the time, as long as you grind, but the amount of grind that you require of doing, for example, getting the ultimate bunny, it will be about a minimum of 150 hours, 200 hours, maybe even going above that. Because main of the issue is the RNG. So the RNG will mess you up. And this can actually increase and extend the time that whatever you're doing will be necessary. I noticed this quite early on within the game and it really annoyed me. But nevertheless, I still continue to prevail and I got the trophy, the platinum trophy. But still, this has to be mentioned. The way to monetize this game and on top of that being so expensive because even Warframe and Destiny 2 doesn't do it so, so egregiously, it's just inexcusable, unfortunately. And as such, even though this is indeed a free-to-play game, it still has no excuse of being so, so expensive. Well, anyway, guys, this is my review I wanted to mention for the first Descendant. I want to say that I genuinely had a good time with it. While I was playing through, going for these trophies, getting a platinum trophy, just an experience overhaul, playing with my friends and with the new people that I got an opportunity of playing this game as well. I really have enjoyed my time with it. Because of this, I would give this game a higher score than I would have initially done so because I believe I've given this game like maybe 4 or 5 out of 10 
from my previous review. But now, being how I have played this game so much, I have a little bit of fondness for this game now. So I would say maybe a 6 out of 10. Still, I can see the appeal, but also I can see how people will hate this game as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all later.